Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 career mode with Ace of Alan. and today guys we've got episode 13 of the career mode and coming up in today's episode guys we are looking forward to signing David Neres hopefully in today's episode. And in the last episode then we did also go ahead and start off the Serie A season guys. Two games and we got two wins. We're on six points at the moment. Napoli beating us on goal difference. But we did go ahead then and make a big money signing in the last episode, guys. We brought our new number nine into the club in Luka Jovic, signing from Real Madrid. And last episode, guys, he was unreal. On his debut, managed to go ahead and get a hat-trick. So again, unreal signing. So happy that we went ahead and brought him into the club. And not only then are we going into the transfer market in today's episode, guys. We've also got the start of the Champions League. And you guys are going to see later on in today's episode who is actually in our group. And you know what, guys? Could we go all the way this year in the Champions League? So then, guys, we are looking forward to today's episode. Like I say, going to the transfer market, we definitely want to sign David Neres, but I'm also looking at a cam that can rotate with ZH, because at the moment, we've only got ZH to can play there, Damsgaard can play there, and a couple of other players, but I want, you know, a number one rotated player to rotate with ZH. So there's going to be David Neres and also another sign-in in today's episode, and also we're going to have some Champions League football. So if you guys are looking forward to that, please don't forget, drop a like down below on the video. We can hit over 250 likes. That'd be amazing. And also, guys, if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, hit the red subscribe button down below. But let's go ahead then and get into the first comment in today's episode. Also, don't forget, guys, when I get your comments featured in these episodes, be sure to leave them down below in the comment section. Into the first one, it says, Change Brahim to a left winger. He can cut him more as he is right-footed. And sign David Neres, switched him to a right winger as he is left-footed. Great choice in getting Jovic, by the way. So, yeah, I think that's a really good idea. I didn't even notice that uh, David Neres was left-footed. Maybe, maybe I did, actually, in the last episode. I think I mentioned... Even though he's left-footed, getting cross into the box won't be a good idea. But I think this is, this is an even better idea. So, yeah, let's get Brahim on a left-winger development plan. That's going to take 25 weeks. And then, when, if we do manage to go ahead and sign David Neres, we'll change him to a right-winger. And again, I think that'd be perfect. But here we go then into the next comment, guys, which says, The player career mode has been amazing. Keep up the great work. And I do appreciate that. Of course I do, guys. So, yeah, the player career mode, to be honest, the first episode went down... I'd, I'd say 10 times better than I expected to. I weren't really too sure what to expect. You know, this late on into FIFA 21. Are people going to be bothered about a player career mode? You know, all that sort of stuff. But you guys smashed out of the park on the first episode. Second episode as well did amazing. So yeah, I think at the moment, in terms of how I'm going to upload, I think I'm going to do Monday to Thursday. So four episodes of the, you know, mine career mode or whatever team we do. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I think we'll do the player career mode. That way we've got four episodes a week of the normal manager career mode and then three episodes a week of the player career mode. So again, I think that's a pretty good, pretty good, you know, um, how, do, how do I describe it? Pretty good layout of how we're going to do things. But here we go then into the final comment for today's episode, which does say, Sign Cunha from Hertha, I'm guessing Hertha Berlin. He is so underrated and can play left wing or on the right wing. And now, guys, I thought I recognised the name from some, uh, from somewhere. But you can see right now, our scout is called Cunha as well. So I thought oh, that was pretty odd. But uh, yeah, I definitely want to try and take a look at him in today's episode. because we do want to sign a cam to rotate. And Matthias, Matthias, I'm guessing, Cunha... From Hertha Berlin, Brazilian, Cam, 22 years of age, 6 foot as well, so that's not bad. You can play on both wings, so I think, you know what, why not, let's take a look at him in today's episode. So for transfers then, in today's episode guys, we've got 144 million in the transfer budget, over 250k in the wage, so we've got plenty of money to start with here guys, again... Are we looking to spend it all? No, but again, we've got money to work with. And also then, whilst we're scouting Cunha in today's episode, I want to take a look at Paqueta, because I think I already have a scout report for him. There we go, Lucas Paqueta, pretty sorted. And this is the guy, yeah, this is the guy we're looking at here. Now, he is a centre mid. Obviously, I am looking for a cam, but surely there's no reason why he can't play. Yeah, he can play cam. I knew he could play cam. So, he's 78 rating. Again, all-round great player. We're going to take a look at him, take a look at Cunha in today's episode. And there you go, Cunha can play cam, striker and left mid. But yeah, there's no reason why he can't play on both wings. See there, he's got five, uh, I'm about to say five star skill moves, five traits. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot. So yeah, we're going to take a look at both of these and then decide which one. So just quick for them, before we go any further in today's episode, let's take a quick look at the season objectives. Now, as you guys can see, obviously 30 goals with Jovic. We're off to a good start there with four. Already got four clean sheets with Mike Mignon as well. And already got three assists with Damsgaard, by the way, guys. So that's unreal. Three assists with Damsgaard. Obviously, you know, two of, you know, at least one or two of them must have came from Jovic. 
when he got a hat trick in that game. But again, starting off really well, but again as well, grow Maldini by five overalls. I need to start thinking about that one and how we're going to achieve it. But here we go then guys, let's get into this major transfer here. David Neres, we're looking to sign him in today's episode and obviously by the looks of it as well, he is in the last year of his contract. So we might be able to get him for less than 35 million, which will save us some money in the transfer budget. He's on 29,000 at the moment a week at Ajax. So we might only have to pay like 60k a week, which would really help us. But let's get into this here. So let's try and offer maybe 33. Do you reckon we can get away with 33? Might be a little bit too little. But you never know. You just never know, guys. Let's go in. Let's just ask. Can we get him for 33? Okay, they want Dalot. No way. No way. We just signed him. Counter that. Remove him. Propose. Okay, so 33 might just be a little bit too little. Let's try 35 and see what they say to that. Surely they can't say no to that. No sell-on clause. They might want a sell-on clause, though. With him being only 24 years of age. And wow, okay, don't 35.5.3, sorry. Plus a sell on clause. Again, I knew you'd want some sort of sell on clause, maybe. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and accept. So let's get into these contract talks then with David Neres and his agent, guys. So, squad role, what should we offer him? Now, we might be able to get away with important here, just because I'm thinking, you know, I do want, you know, other players to get some game time as well. Crucial is going to be probably, probably, you know, what he's going to be in every game, pretty much. So. I'm going to try and get away with important, but if he wants crucial, that's fair enough. Let's have a C important, and okay, yeah, they had that in mind. Okay, that's great, just because that way I can rotate him. You know, he's going to get, say, 70% of the game time, but, um, you know, let's have a C. Anyway, moving on. Four-year contract length, I'm happy with that. He is happy with that. No release uh, no release clause yet. Okay, wage. Okay, so 69,000. Okay, this is great. This is great. Let's remove the bonus. Let's edit the wage. Let's up that to now maybe, what, 75? Yeah, I reckon we'll get away with 75, 620k. Yeah, I reckon. Let's go ahead. Let's submit that offer. Let's have a see what he has to say um, to that right now. Again, you know, increase in wage. He's got that. Sign on bonus over half a million. Four-year deal. Important squad role. Yeah, there we go. David Neres is going to join AC Milan, guys. And let's go ahead now and get a development plan on him already. And here it is then guys, our new signing, David Neres, costing us 35.3 million to bring him into the club, but again, first team starter is going to play, you know, play a really vital role for us this season in the Champions League. You can see there some of his key stats as well, sprint speed, agility, acceleration, dribbling, all things that we definitely need in this team. So let me know then guys as well, what kit number should we give to David Neres? Right now he's got number 13 and I'm not really too sure what numbers are available. We're going to take a look at that. So let's get him on right now, right winger. That'll take 28 weeks. I'll take half a year, which I guess isn't too bad. So let's get him on that straight away. And let's have a look at kit numbers right now. So kit number, okay, seven isn't free because ZH has got seven. Um, number nine, obviously Jovic, eight, Tonali, 10 is Brahim. 11. Colombo, should we give him the number 11? I think number 11 is pretty fine. Colombo, we're not going to play him. Yeah, let's give him the number 11. But if you guys think you should have another number, let me know down below in the comments. So the scout report then has returned for Konya, guys. And you can see there, 81 rated. Cam, striker, left mid, four star skill moves, four star weak foot, right footed, high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate. And again, these stats are quite good to be fair, guys. 84 sprint speed. 92 agility. What's his short pass? And okay, he's finishing 83, which is quite high. Short pass 76. 85 long shots. Wow, okay. 85 ball control. Yeah, I think this guy is pretty, pretty underrated. I got to mention some of his stats here are amazing. So what I'm gonna do, guys, because I can't decide between the two. I really can't decide. Obviously, Lucas Paqueta used to be an AC Milan player, dubbed as the next Kaka for AC Milan. And obviously, Cunha really underrated, and again, he is higher rated than Paqueta. So, guys, what I'm going to do, down below in the comments, you might have already seen, there is a straw poll for you guys to go and vote. Who should be signing, Lucas Paqueta or Cunha from Hertha Berlin? So, go down below, leave a vote on the poll, because I want to get you guys involved, of course I do. So, again, guys, leave a vote, and the next episode will sign either one of these players. But let's go ahead then and get to our first game in today's episode, guys, which we are going to go ahead and simulate. You see, David Neres is in the squad on the right-hand side. We've got Brahim on the left, Jovic up front. Let's have a see how this game does end. Now, Rob Magnoli should be in the team. I obviously haven't gone ahead and changed that. Let's get him back into the starting 11. Okay, where? Okay. Oh, he's got a red card. Okay, fair enough. That's why he's not in the team. Let's go ahead. Quick sim. Should be getting the win, even though we're away from home. And we do. Okay, three changes made as well. Jovic scoring. 
twice in that game and ZH scoring as well. So I hope you guys can see then after that first game in today's episode, we are still in second place. Napoli won their game, but you can see the top three at the moment who have won three out of three. Juventus in fourth, Inter Milan in fifth place. Let's go ahead right now, show you guys our Champions League group because our next game is a game in the Champions League. So let's go and show you guys our group. There you go, there you go guys, we've got Liverpool in our group, Zenit and Shakhtar Donetsk. Now Liverpool, obviously AC Milan, that famous 2005 game. Now I'm hoping something like that doesn't happen in this game. And obviously AC Milan were leading 3-0 at half time. Liverpool came back and got the win in the Champions League final, guys. You can see here the other groups, let's have a see if we can find the group of death, if there is one. PSG, Leipzig or Inter Ajax Atletico, that's probably the closest so far. You obviously got our group, Real Madrid, the Juventus. Okay, Salzburg as well, Man City, Dortmund, Porto, Barcelona, United and Lyon, Galatasaray, Bayern, Atalanta, Marseille. All right, okay, Spurs, Borussia, Mönchengladbach and Villarreal. So I, I, I say there isn't a group of death. I reckon it's quite evenly spread here. Again, that's quite a tough group into Ajax and Atletico. To be fair, that is probably the toughest group, I've got to be honest, guys. So here is then how we're going to line up for our first game in the Champions League, guys. We are going to be at home for this one, taking on Zenit. Now, you're probably thinking, you know what, you can go ahead and sim this game. And I probably could sim it, guys. But I want to make sure, just 100%, that we do get off to a good start here in the Champions League. Because, you know, anything could happen. Um, I've seen Champions Leagues where, you know, Man City, for example, have been knocked out in the group stage. I don't want that happening to us. So let's get into this right now. Jovic up front, Neres on the right, Brahim on the left. Our strongest start in 11. Let's get into it. There we go, one back, let's go. David Neres now inside, finds Jovic. Neres making the run, try and find him. Oh, the top, go on Neres, go on. Oh, he's gonna get there, the full back is. Neres still chasing for the ball there, but straight away, instant impact in this game. Jovic, Kese, okay, go on, Neres. Little chip over, oh, towards Kese. Oh, it's actually towards um, Jovic in the end. I'm sure that was towards Kese, but either way. Again, Neres seen a lot of the ball early on. Kese, go on, find him once again. Oh, okay, Ziyech should have held back there, Ziyech. Um, Neves, okay, finds Ziyech now, maybe. Go on, Ziyech. Oh, back to... Oh, just couldn't get it back to him, guys. Well, Magnoli wins it back. Ziyech can find... Okay, Jovic can find Neves. Oh, tried the ball through. Didn't work out this time. Neves, again, making a lot of forward runs, which is great for us. Just going to improve our passing, though. Oh, there we go. Tomori's quite out the pitch here, Neves. Okay, pass and move, pass and move. I'm liking it. Ziyech back once again. Jovic just couldn't get there. Okay, we're a little bit outnumbered at the back here. A little bit outnumbered. Tomori, run. Tomori, slide in. No. Oh, guys. Oh, Zenit make it 1-0. And we just got Tomori a yellow card. I was hoping he would hit it low. And then when Tomori slides in, he would block the shot. Didn't happen to be the case. And Zenit make it 1-0. After such a promising start in this game, Zenit on the counter... Oh, look again, look. Oh, Tomori trying to catch up. Tomori once again, catching up, sliding in, hoping that it would shoot low, and then the slide tackle would block it. Wasn't the case. On the volley. Look at that. <laughs> Takes him out as well. Picks up a yellow card, which isn't great. And there you go. 1-0 for Zenit. Just looking for a bit of support right now. Ben Asa, turn him. Oh, no way, Jovic, man. Come on, we've got to be getting that right. Can I say, go on. Oh, just can't win it back. Can't win it back. Getting past that Zenit back line is definitely a problem for us. Can I say, looking for a pass, there we go, Ziyech, go on, Jovic, make the run, okay, never mind, out wide, okay, we'll take it this way, try and get a cross in now, Calabria crosses it in, Jovic, oh, you've got to be up there, you've got to be up there, Benassa, Ziyech, okay, Kese, in towards Jovic, can turn him, finish, oh, no way, that's an amazing save, amazing save, come on, come on, Jovic, that was an amazing turn, fast pace, the finish, it was just, to be honest, I feel like the save was quite lucky, in a way, in a way. But here we go, let's whip it in. Okay, go on. Oh, no way. Pick that up, pick that up. Brahim, okay. Penalty. Is that a penalty? Oh, what? Free kick. Ziyech plays it out wide. Here we go, Brahim now. Can play it back forward. Ziyech forward. No, man, Lovren, of all people. Lovren was there to stop the attack. And yeah, guys, like I say, getting past his back line. Oh, just couldn't nip it back there. It, 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 it is a problem. Okay, bit of a problem, bit of a problem, Tomori. Oh, Ron Magnoli there. Pass, not going any, anywhere in the end. Here we go, Neres. Let's get on a counter-attack quick here. Go on, Brahim. Go on, Brahim. Here we go. He's through. He's took a deflection. Oh, ref, man. What is your problem? Here we go, ZH. We've got to time this right. Time it right. No, no. Oh, the defender's done amazing there. What? It counts. All right, never mind. Never mind. It's 1-1, guys. All right, okay. I seen the defender tracking back, and then as soon as one stopped, the other stopped, and I thought, there you go, he's offside, he's offside. But no, he was onside. 
Oh, there you go. Look, watch this defender on the right. As soon as he stops and runs, I thought he's offside, isn't he? And there you go. He's onside. Fair enough. I'll take that. I don't care. There we go, guys. 1-1. One, one. Let's see if we can find a winner from somewhere. Nerez on the overlap. Ziyech passing it to him. Nerez now. Nerez, roll that. Go on. Nerez. Finish that. Nerez. No, man. Just couldn't finish it. Just couldn't find a finishing touch. Come on. Come on. We can keep pushing here. Okay, so Zenit might be the ones actually to find a winner in this game. There we go, Kese, that is great. ZH, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, players. Nerez should be making a bit of a faster run. There we go, go on, Jovic. Oh, Jovic is through. The pass, finish, finish. There we go, what a finish. Is that a Rabona as well? I think that might be another Rabona finish, guys. There we go, 2-1. That's going to be the three points. That has to be the three points in this game. I want to see the replay of that. I think he might have done a Rabona into the goal. Just to add a bit of flair onto it. Jovic almost going to shoot. Almost going to shoot. And yeah, yeah, there you go. Rabona, guys. There we go. Yeah, I was almost going to shoot there with Jovic because I thought I can't risk the pass. If it goes wrong, that might be a last chance. But there we go. That has to be a winner. So just waiting for this full sound whistle now then, guys. Unable to win this ball back, but it doesn't really matter. There we go, Jovic. Maybe one last attempt. Nah, there we go. There we go then, guys. We get a 2 on win in our first game in the Champions League. It was a good comeback from us. I got to be honest. There was times where I thought, you know what? Zenit might walk away with a win. And then we got an equaliser that I thought was offside. I'm happy there to walk away with the three points. So there we go then, guys. Not a bad first game. There you go. The 2-1 win gives us the three points. You can see that Liverpool actually drawing in their first game. The Shakhtar Donetsk. I'm guessing a 1-1. Okay, 0-0. Wow, okay. Very surprising from Liverpool there. The 0-0 to Shakhtar Donetsk. But, uh, but I'm glad we got the three points. Let's get into our next game then for today's episode. Taking on Hellas Veronia. They're actually bottom of the table right now, guys. And we are at home, so we should be winning this game. No problem. Let's go ahead, quick sim. Jovic going to... What a draw in this game. Okay. Not what I had in mind. Kese, Bacuayi actually scoring for them. But wow, okay. Did not expect us to get a draw. Maldini coming on, get some game time. But was he the right sub when it's 1-1? Let's get into another game then that we are going to sim, guys. And now after that one, after that last game, the draw, the 1-1, one, one, now Bologna moved down into bottom place in the Serie A table. So again, this time, we got Jovic starting up front. Ziyech now 90 rated, guys. So let's get a win in this one. Surely away from home. Surprised we didn't get a win in that last game. And there we go, the 3-1 win. Brahim, had, okay, another hat-trick for him, but two goals. And Kese with the goal as well. But let's get into our final game then for today's episode, guys. We're going to be taking on Palmer for this one. And obviously, we got a draw two games ago. And I don't want to suffer that once again. So this Palmer game, we're going to go out there, finish off today's episode with another win. Because I do want to try and stay in that top four for the whole of the season. I do not want to drop out of it. So let's get into this one. Let's just finish off today's episode with another win. So then, guys, I'm hoping this game goes really well. Because if it does, and we manage to get, you know, two or three goals in this game, then I have got Maldini on the bench. So I do want to try and bring on and get some game time. So you guys might be wondering, why didn't you sign a cam before, you know, the summer transfer window closed? It's because between now and December... Okay, go on. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, between now and December, I'm hoping to get Maldini game time at the cam position before the knockout stages start happening. Um, you know, in the Champions League. And that's where we're going to definitely need a better rated cam. So I think for now, we're going to rotate Maldini with Ziyech. And then as soon as, you know, January comes and a really important game to the Champions League comes up, we'll go ahead and sign, you know, a better cam to rotate with Ziyech. But uh, let's see if we can get anything going here. Jovic, okay, make the run. There we go, inside. Oh, okay, can't get anything there with Hernandez. Brahim, okay, he has got Hernandez out to his left. Going to get it overlapping to him, there we go. Hernandez, whipping it in. Jovic in the middle. Let's head it away quite easily. Tonali, win that. Tonali, there we go, that's great. Kese, okay, Ziyech was free. There we go, Ziyech. Can find him. Little chip over the top. Couldn't get played. Nerez getting it to Jovic. Jovic, okay, through. Okay, never mind. Ziyech, just keep this, keep this. Okay, some runners, please, some runners. Tonali, okay, get it forward. Jovic. He's going to try and take this on his own. Never mind. Tonal is free in the middle. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's a great ball. That's a great ball for Palmer now. Are they going to get anything from this? He's out wide. Okay, plays the pass back. Okay, okay. Let's let's not give away anything. Let's not get any yellow cards like we did in that game with Tomori. We don't need to go sliding in. And Tomori. There we go. That's great. That is what we need. Let's go. Brahim on his left-hand side. Let's get runners. Okay, I'm going to have to try and play that. Okay, that's brilliant. That's amazing. Jovic, keep it. Finish. Finish. There we go. 1-0. 34 minutes in. Took us a little bit of a while. But on the counter-attack, Brahim, amazing. And that is an even better pass from him. And Jovic slots it home, guys. And how many goals is that for him now? We must be up there on, what, seven, eight goals already this season? Yeah, he's off to the flying start. Absolutely flying start. The five-star weak foot is so important. And look at that for a free ball. Perfect. Jovic got the strength as well and aggression just to keep hold of that ball. 
And it's a great finish in the end. And there we go. 1-0 up. Okay. Palmer going forward. Looking convincing. Roe McNally cutting it. Okay. I thought he cut it out there. Okay. Careful. No. Okay. Tamori. Tamori. No. The pass. That's a great block. That's a great block from Calabria. Can we get anything on this counter? ZH out wide to Brahim. Okay. Uh, let's just keep it a little bit. Okay, could have played it down to Jovic, just, just moving forward, and there you go, guys, into half time, but at least we do have the goal to show for it. Okay, Jovic is on his own, Jovic is on his own, Ziyech, okay, Brahim, okay, keep this, just keep it tight, just keep it tight, here we go. Okay, Brahim, keep that, there we go, Jovic, there we go, Jovic, maybe one more touch, Ziyech, finish, Ziyech, oh, no, keep it, Brahim, just someone, just get something right now on this, I don't want to lose this attack, Jovic. ZH back through for him. Jovic to finish and it's blocked. Nerez, got to time it, got to time it. Okay, never had to in the end. Jovic, ZH, okay. Once again, we're stuck in a similar situation. Brahim can find ZH, turn him. There we go, finish that ZH, please. Oh, man. That's another great save from the goalkeeper. I've got Maldini on the bench, who I do want to try and bring on. But right now, I feel like we need all the help we can get to get a second goal. ZH, the header. Oh, the header amounts to nothing. Okay, so you just got to time it. There we go. ZH, finish that. There we go, guys. 2-0 in this game. 30 minutes to go. ZH puts a finish to Kese's forward ball. And what a ball it was, to be fair. ZH, now 90 rated, guys. I wonder how high of a rating we can actually get him. Because right now we signed him. What was it when we signed him? 85, 86? Now he's 90 and he's, what, 28 years of age. We might be able to get him to, you know, 92, 93. But look at that there. Look how close that is. ZH. Just getting his right foot on that, and then they go into the bottom corner. Goalkeeper, no chance. Let's have a see if we can get Maldini on for the last couple of minutes here, guys. Because, again, I do feel like he does deserve some game time. Uh, Maldini, let's get him on, and let's have a see what he can do. Let's not give away anything stupid here. Let's not give it away. Tamori, okay. Tamori, so vital, guys. I feel like we don't have him in our defence. We are screwed. There's so many times where he's helped us out and just got to cross that back line when needed. But the passes are getting quite fast here. Okay, let's just defend this 2-0 lead. Let's get a clean sheet as well. And Kese just getting that vital tackle. And Maldini unable to get the pass to anyone, but it just gets it away. And there we go, guys. We finish off today's episode with the three points against Parma. I've got to admit, it was a little bit more difficult than I expected it to be. I thought, you know, maybe we can go 2 or 3 nil up in the first half, get Maldini on, give him a good 45 minutes. But that wasn't the case. And Parma put up a, put up a pretty good fight. And here you guys can see then after that win against Parma, we're actually top of the table, guys, on 11 goal difference and also 16 points. Torino in second, Napoli now down in third place. And wow, okay, things can change quickly. Inter Milan right now down in eighth place with 11 points. But don't forget to join us then in the next episode, guys, for our first game of the episode. Next episode is going to be Liverpool and we are going to be away from home. So what a massive game that is for us. And as you guys know, they drew their first game to Shakhtar Donetsk, nil-nil. So you never know what Liverpool are going to turn up in next episode. And also then, guys, if you got this far into the video and you haven't gone down below in the comments as of yet and voted for who you want me to sign in the next episode, please go ahead and do it now. Like I say, Lucas Pliqueta or Cunha, let me know down below by voting. But there we go then, guys. That's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like I say, gone ahead and signed David Neres. Unable to score in today's episode, David Neres. But again, I felt like in that first game we played with him, he played really, really well. And again, it just adds more quality into the first team. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget, drop a like down below on the video. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.